SLA back there. Hi guys, so I'm up here on this beautiful morning because I feel like this mountain is, um, is a good representation of what this vlog is about. See, I'm going to go all the way up there. You see, I spend a lot of time thinking about joy and about how to be successful in life, despite the fact that I'm not. So I decided to ask a few of my friends uh, what they thought about joy, what they thought about success, and that's what this vlog is about. I used to come here with my friends all the time, and we'd always go all the way up to the top right there. Hi. What's up? Is this your thing? Yeah. It sounds all right. Where <laughs> 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 we need to get these funky, these funky bars, you know? These funky bars, like I'm from Mars. Oh shit! Oh, oh rapper! Right? No, I'm gonna go get alcohol. I'm gonna, huh? get, I'm gonna get beer. So we're almost there, getting alcohol, and then we get sent out on an errand from Adam's dad. <laughs> That's like classic. That's classic cake and it do this forever. Since we were little kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys want to go hang out? Clean the yard. <laughs> oh my god. That's how much I love you, man. Like, I, I mean, would clean your yard to kick it with you. That's, that's that. true friend love right there. <laughs> so look, everybody watching, this is a very important life lesson. Get you some Mexican friends. Thank you. Thank you. Some fucking fat asses in this car, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, I haven't eaten anything today. <laughs> I'm gonna fill myself up, you know, with McDonald's and alcohol. And marijuana. <laughs> and these fucking beats, dude. <laughs> these beats. Yo, dab. Did you, did you poop? I might have stepped in something. Yeah, now it's on my hand. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How you been, man? Not bad, yo. Bro. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Opening the box. <laughs> so what brings you joy every day? Masturbating. I gave him like a whole fucking like three, <laughs> three hours to think about this shit and that's that's why that's yeah, all I got. <laughs> Just you know the satisfaction of a good hard day's work making uh, an earnest honest living. But, uh, what do you think you need in order to be successful? One thing you need is a three-step process to get it, right? Yeah. So first, you need to get a job, source of income, very important. Second, you need to dress the part, you need to dress for success. So you need khakis. You need the khakis. <laughs> the third thing yeah. you need is the bitches, dude. Come on, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so you're saying first you get the job, yeah. then you get the khakis. Then you get the khakis. Then you get the bitches. Then you get the bitches, then you know what you have? Success. success. Used to. No, 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 I used, to, I was kidding, but I used to, I used to argue with Nubar a lot in elementary school. You know a lot about beers? I mean, you go to college in San Diego, it's basically requirements to be a beer snob. Ooh, you go to college. <laughs> Is that seriously the pretentious part of that? Ready? Ready. Oh, nice. Bubbles. Okay. Fall. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Wait, so how long have we been friends? Six years, maybe? 2012, 2013? That's so fucking long. Is it, it was like 2012 or 2013, wasn't it? I'm gonna overlay that picture that we're doing the battle with the... <laughs> 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 that was the moment. Yeah. It was caught on camera. What brings you joy on the daily? It's mostly like solving problems in ways that other people can see and be happy about. <laughs> like, I do a lot of shit at work that, that is you know, beneficial in, in an obvious way. I work at a hospice and I, I train volunteers to go visit with, with uh, terminally ill people. Um, and we have these like one-on-one -on -one training sessions where, you know, we talk about the hospice concept and what it means to like form a connection with somebody and not just like pity them and feel sorry for them. Yeah. Um, we get a lot of, get a lot of volunteers to help work in the office, things like that. So it's, you know, there's a lot of obvious reminders that I'm doing my job correctly. Yeah, yeah. I like video games too and beer. What about, what about success, man? Like, what do you what do you think is necessary for success? Pretty broad question. I feel like picking the right niche for yourself is is equally important. Not everybody gets to be like 
rocket scientist, you know, world champion boxer kind of thing. You get you get told you want to do that you can do anything you want to do and as soon as you dream it but it's it's much more satisfying to seek out stuff that you would be good at and you would be useful at and you people would feel the impact of you doing your work. <laughs> Wait, you were so tempted to what? To apply for the job as the museum, the observatory lecturer. So do it. Oh. You're totally the guy. Why the hell wouldn't you? What are you doing here? Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing taking care of dying people? <laughs> <laughs> they don't need you. Go we'll talk about plans. You want to get out of that job as a fucking dead end. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you asked the success question, uh, you should check out Ralph Waldo Emerson's quote on what it means to be successful. The smallest thing, which is to laugh often and much. Which is nice. Because mm -hmm. you don't have to be this great thing or have too much influence in order to be successful. You can just have it in finding joy every day. Yeah. The Horace Man. Guys, okay, so my buddy Nick, he just messaged me. He says he wants to do a vlog about uh, shaving his mother's back. Shaving my mom's back? Yeah. Why not? Are you still into her? You've been into her ever since we were fucking younger. Bro, she's it's got hair on her nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know you know that. <laughs> Should I get you drunk? Again? <laughs> you're like, I'm drunk right now. <laughs> like, wait, you're fucking drunk. <laughs> you, you're late to the fucking party. <laughs> What's the thing that brings you joy the most in life? Well, I mean, obviously doing what I do. If I wasn't doing what I really love to do, I feel like I wouldn't be too joyful. <laughs> I don't know, I guess comedy, dude. For me, for, for me, comedy. Uh, I guess everyone's joy is different, but for me, definitely, you know, creating funny content. Yeah, it's, I feel like joy is, like, pretty simple to find. That's it, I guess. Oh my god, I don't know, dude, I'm sad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong person. <laughs> what do you think the key to, like, success in the long term is? No, I'm, like, in a minivan. <laughs> key to success, um... Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I know a lot about success. <laughs> no, success can be different things, dude. Success isn't just career-wise, you know? Success can be health, can be love, can be family. Definitely passion and consistency. I have a plan B. I don't, I've never had a plan B. People think it's the stupid way to go about it, but I've never had a plan B. Ever since I was a kid. Ever since I was 15 and I knew I wanted to be a funny person. Uh, I'm not a funny person, but <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying. <laughs> I guess just being consistent and being passionate about what you do. And not have another, don't have other plans, dude. It's kind of like being in a relationship and eyeing other other women or other men, you know? You don't want to do that. You want to be dedicated to one thing, and that's how a career works, too. Mm. Just, you're dedicated to one thing, and that's it. You're not eyeing anything else. You, you don't have a plan B. You don't have, you're, you're not looking for better things out there. Because you already know what, what's there, and you already know what's in front of you. So, um, I don't know. That's kind of how I look at it. You look very cute in this lighting. Oh, thank you. You see, I believe that life is a little bit like climbing up a hill like this. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes. Uh, for example, like moments like right now, you think about going back because it would just be so much easier to go take a shit right now than to wait until after I go all the way up there. But you gotta take a moment and enjoy the beauty, you know? Find the joy in the little moments. Find that view, enjoy life for a little while. Don't just think about the challenge of going uphill. See, the truth is that I don't know that much about success. I'm a lot friendlier with failure. I'm a lot friendlier with depression and sadness. But I think that we can all learn from each other. That we can all be there for each other as human beings and help each other succeed help each other be joyful, help each other be happy. And I think that was the point of this vlog. That's the goal of this vlog. <laughs>